Hi, welcome to this breaking news live stream here on MRTV. The Links are one Kickstarter campaign is live. And in this live stream, we're going to have exactly a look at this Kickstarter campaign. I'm going to tell you what the Links are one is. It's an AR and VR headset. And I'm going to let you know why I personally think this is an interesting campaign that is absolutely worth to look at. So absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up. Yeah, hi and welcome back here to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and this channel here is all about VR and AR. So if you're interested in that, absolutely subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. Wow, I haven't done a live stream by myself for such a long time. Normally, you know, I'm now live every Saturday for the Next Dimension podcast. But today I thought, you know what, I should absolutely do a live stream to tell you about a new Kickstarter campaign. I believe that some of you, like Skiva, hi there Skiva, you know already what the links are one is about. But to all of you who have not yet heard about this headset, and why it's probably worth it to back it or at least to look at the campaign, I'm going to tell you all about it. So the Lynx R1 is an AR and VR headset and well, it is live on Kickstarter right now. The link is in the description of this video. It is a standalone AR and VR headset. It can do both. You can play VR games, like wirelessly, you can play your Steam VR games, but, and that's in my opinion, more interesting, it has this mixed reality mode where very nice um, RGB cameras, color cameras will give you pass through AR. So you look at the VR screens, but there are nice cameras out there who check out your environment and these cameras then will show the picture in your VR screen and there can be like virtual objects like on your reality. Oh, it's, it's pretty cool stuff, it's pretty cool stuff. So before we look at the campaign, and I'm looking at the campaign right now, and wow, already 130,000 euros. Congratulations, Stan. Already 130,000 euros made in the first 40 minutes. That is amazing. And um, Silver said, are you getting one to demo, Sebastian? No, I'm not getting one to demo. Well, I've just backed the campaign myself, but I'm going to go to Paris. I'm going to go to Paris in a, in a couple of weeks, not alone, but with the Next Dimension podcast team, and we're going to try out the device ourselves. No one has tried the device yet. We only rely on videos and pictures right now, and therefore, I believe it's important to check out the device ourselves. But before now we look at the campaign, let's have a look at the, the one minute trailer just for you who have never seen the device, just to show you, yeah, what it looks like. So let's do that right now. No, that's wrong. All right. So this is the Lynx R1, a standalone headset with very interesting lenses. Check out those lenses. It also has the XR2 chipset, just like the Quest 2. And just like the Quest 2, it's also a standalone headset. But this one has way more cameras, as you can see on the top or in the front of the device. And these very interesting lenses, totally different kind of lenses than before. And the shape of the lenses is so so that well they can put the whole thing into a smaller form factor yeah lots of cameras as you can tell and these cameras are very important for hand tracking they have ultra leap hand tracking which actually is better than the hand tracking in the quest 2 so i'm looking forward to try this out myself this is the device this is the device links and they say it's the ultimate ar and VR headset, it costs $499. And actually, it is live right now on Kickstarter. So now let's have a look at the Kickstarter campaign. And here it is. So, wow, this is really, really incredible. So Stan and team, if you're watching this live stream right now, 
Congratulations. This is really incredible. Already 131,000 euros in the first 45 minutes. That is really, really remarkable. And yeah, this, this is cool. You have 198 backers already in that short amount of time and you got 34 days to go. So, I wow, you already get more than... You, you nearly got half of what you're looking for because they're looking for 300,000 euros and they already got 132,000 euros by 199 backers. This is absolutely remarkable. Yeah, so if you want to see the whole video of them, absolutely check out the link. The link again is down in the description of this video. So we looked, let's have a look at, yeah, the market is hungry, exactly. So we already just looked at the links of one Kickstarter reveal. That's the video that I just showed you. If you want to watch the whole um, video clip where they introduce it, you can do so on the Kickstarter campaign website and it's going to take you like five minutes. It's a very nice video where you also will see Stan Larocque, the, yeah, the founder of links and oh, already 201 backers yeah cool great congratulations and probably some people who are watching this live stream now probably they go there and back it because now you know it's there so at links we want to change the way we interact with virtual virtuality forever okay why another xr headset let's have a look why why do they want another xr headset The headset landscape is divided into four categories, tethered, standalone, and AR, VR. Our headset will be the first one to cover all those four categories. It can be used in tethered or standalone mode and can do both AR and VR. It will be the most versatile headset available on the market and will enable new experiences across all those categories. For example, you can play your existing Steam VR games at home and also take the headset outside to discover new mixed reality experiences. Yeah. You know, you know one thing one thing that I personally think is remarkable is the price. So, you can get this for $499 excluding tax. So you still have to pay tax on top of that. But just think about it. This is a standalone headset. It has 1600 by 1000 pixels per eye. So a nice high resolution. It is a standalone headset with the XR2 chipset, just like the Quest 2. But on top of all of that, it has ultra leap, ultra leap hand tracking and it has this high this pass through mode and that is really the exciting part so in my personal opinion this is not a headset for people who simply want to play vr games and for people who who want to have something like the Quest. If you want to play Quest games, this is not for you. This is something, well, you can play your Steam VR games, but on top of that, well, you have an AR headset that will allow you to do all kinds of exciting AR things. So let's have a look at the Through the Lens video. They also show here now in their Kickstarter page, and let's see like how this... AR part that I'm personally more excited about how this looks like um, through through the lens. Yes, 1,600 by 1,600 pixels. Exactly. So let me just find that now, the video, and then we can have a look. So, yep, this is all live here. Here at a source, local video, and let me find that now. I think this video really shows off pretty nice what this can do. And here it is. So here you see the office of the links. And yeah, well, you, you see how the cameras show this pass-through, this high-quality pass-through image and how the headset will put virtual objects into your reality and you can walk around it. 
You see those planets? Obviously, those planets are not in their office. But, well, this is actually what this headset can do. And I personally have not yet seen this kind of quality pass through in a standalone headset. So that is really remarkable. And I personally can't wait to actually try this out myself. So I personally haven't seen that in, uh, in person yet. And of course, I have asked the team, hey, can you send me that? Can you send me, can you send me that device so, so that I could check it out before, before that Kickstarter comes online? But unfortunately, they have so few devices <laughs> that if they would send one out to me, it would mean that they have one device less in the office that they need for actually, um, yeah, like developing all the good stuff. So that's why they said, you know what, Sebastian, we, we cannot send you one, but what we can do, we can invite you to our offices. And that's, that's, why, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to their offices in a couple of weeks and I'm going to try this out. And it's not only me, Stan LaRocque, the founder of Lynx, has also invited the team members of the Next Dimension podcast, the podcast that is live here on MRTV every Saturday, and we're all going to go to the offices and check it out. And one thing is really important for me for going to this office. So, well, I have backed this already, right? Because I believe in the project. I think it's amazing that, well, this is also... In terms of the business model, it's something completely different as compared to Facebook, right? At the moment, Facebook is owning the VR market. And for sure, they will also um, yeah, go for the AR market. They will absolutely also go for the AR market. And while the Quest 2 is fantastic and while the Quest Pro is also going to become fantastic, that's for sure. In my opinion, it's not fantastic that one company is so dominant on the market that one company is so dominant on the market and then that company is a company which business model is your data, right? The business model is to get to know you and to make a profile of you and then to serve you ads. That is without a doubt the business model of Facebook. And I must tell you, for me personally, I am just not so comfortable with being looked at, being watched in VR to get to know me better, like to get to know where I'm looking at and all these kind of things. I'd rather be in VR or in AR where I can completely forget about somebody watching me. And therefore, I personally support this project and I personally hope that this is going to be successful. However, I must also tell you, I must also tell you that I'm going to go to Paris, not with the intention in mind to tell you, wow, everything is great what I see. No, I will still just tell you what I see. If I see something that is not as good as others, if I see something, yeah, that I personally think is not good enough or, or there is some flaw, I will tell you that. So very important. Even though I support this, this project and I really like, the, like, like Stan and I met him in the Next Dimension podcast, I still go there with you in mind, the people who want to back this project. And I am only answering to you, right? So even though I like this project, actually I'm going there for you to be your eyes, to tell you what I, what I see. And that is exactly um, what I'm going to do. So if you're wondering, hey, Sebastian goes there and Sebastian um, promotes this and Sebastian shows the, the Kickstarter now and he will love it for sure, no. I will go there to be your eyes and that's simply what I want to tell you also in this live stream. Yeah, important things that need to be said, <laughs> right? Yeah, right. So let's have a look again here at, at, the, um, at the Kickstarter. Okay, cool. So while we were talking here, 14 new backers. That is great. That is great. So while we're talking here, we have 40 new backers. We have now, they have now 214 backers. And you know what would be so cool? If during this live stream, if they could make it to 150,000 euros, that would be so cool if during this live stream, they could make it to 150,000 euros. They would already have half 
within one hour. That would be incredible. And one more. That's amazing. That's amazing. So for links, and that is what I really love, Stan said for them, they want to build something completely different from Facebook because their business model is not going to be data. For them, they will not require you to have a Facebook account login, right? They will simply give you the hardware and you can do whatever you want with it and nobody's going to watch you, nobody's going to store your data, nobody's going to sell those data for ads. And that is beautiful. That is really what I hope would be the standard. And therefore, I think this is a project that you can absolutely look into. Yeah, right. Blue Mamba, where's the adult beverage? <laughs> You're totally right. Oh my goodness. You know, this, this live stream is so spontaneous, I didn't even get to prepare my adult beverages, right? Damn, you're right, you're right. Yeah, so this is already fantastic that your data is safe and you don't have to log in with any kind of social media account. So, really nice. Right. So let's have a look at actually what, what you can what you can pledge. So I have already pledged for the early bird, right? So um, let's see if we can still... Oh, here are all the pledges. So you can pledge 25 euro to get the official shirt. You can pledge 99 euros for a pair of six DOF controllers. So I believe that right now they don't have controllers, but you can pledge 99 euros or more to get them once they are ready. I believe they are working together with Finch. Exactly. So that you can also pledge this if you need the six DOF VR controllers to play your Steam VR games. Okay, then um, my pledge, the pledge that I pledged for, that's the Lynx R1 Early Bird. The Lynx R1 standard black model. And it's, well, the Lynx R1 itself, it's a one meter USB-C cable, it's a USB-C charger. The VR facial interface that is being shown here, right? So um, here, if you, if you see it like this, this is without the VR interface. And with the VR interface, well, it's like this here so that there won't be any kind of light leakage when you are in VR mode, right? So if you are in AR mode, then it's like this because you still want to see your environment, right? This is this is something important, and well, it didn't it didn't clearly like I think in my opinion they didn't clearly enough communicate that you have this VR facial interface where you will have a normal VR headset. And Matteo, yeah, Matteo's completely right. Matteo says, Lynx has an uphill battle versus Oculus. Absolutely. I totally, I absolutely agree with Matteo here. And you know why? I, I absolutely, that's also why I think it's so cool that like a small startup, a small startup from France has the guts to go against the giant, right? This, the unbelievable giant with, with limitless... Um, with all these resources, right? That's why the Quest can be so amazing, of course, right? Because they have so many, so many engineers and also why it can be so cheap because they can simply subsidize it. And it's, that's something that, that this company cannot do. And therefore, I think the price of $499 for this kind of headset is really incredible. You really have to understand this. It's a small startup without those resources and they can still make a headset like this that is so much cheaper as, for example, compared to the HTC Vive Focus 3, which cost 1,400 euros and that doesn't even have color pass-through, right? So if you think about this, it is absolutely mind-boggling that this small French startup can actually give you this kind of price. And therefore, also, I believe it's worth it to support the team, to give them yeah, the power to, to manufacture this. 
And I believe that this Kickstarter is really, really important for this small team in order to manufacture this, in order to stay independent, right, without getting money from third parties or without having to be bought. So in my opinion, this alone is already worth it if you love this industry to support this team. So, yeah, <laughs> I really must say, I really, really love like this power, this energy, this passion that they have. You know, I have the same passion, right? I'm, <laughs> I'm also here doing this since years, and I, I still love doing this, you know? And when I see something like this, this small team having this device and like fighting against something like Facebook, like with a completely different business model, I simply feel like, wow, I would love to support them. And yeah, that's why I pledged. That's why I bought it. Uh, that's why I support them with the pledge, right? So yeah, exactly, Skiva says it. Break out those wallets. Support a small team that has this, this vision to not only leave standalone VR and AR to Facebook. Isn't, I think it's so beautiful. And then with that price. So actually, how can they make it happen? How can they make such a device as a small team for $499, that is, that is surprising, right? And actually how they do it is the following. How they do it is the following. So for us consumers, they give it to us at the actual price of this headset. So they are not making a friggin' dime or euro with that $499. This is actually how much this headset costs, you know? And how they how do they do they make their money then? Well, they have another version of this that they're selling to business customers. So for business customers, I believe it's like $900. And well, so with those business customers who then will get better support and all the kind of things that the normal users will not need, that is how they actually make money. That's how they want to finance their device. And I think that is a beautiful business model. I believe for, for, for those um, enterprise customers, for enterprise customers who want this for their businesses, for example, instead of a HoloLens 2, Right, which is still more expensive than $900, for them $900 is really, really a good price. Right, So there, that's where they make their money. And then for us consumers, for us enthusiasts who want the latest and greatest, right? for us, they're giving it to us for the price that they actually have to, buy, have to, have to use in order to actually um, yeah, manufacture this device. So, I think it's a beautiful business model, way more beautiful, in my opinion, than like subsidizing this with our data and then having ads in the future and making us the product, right? You know, I'm very passionate about this whole data privacy um, topic in VR and AR, and therefore I just think this is really, really a cool, cool project. Anyways, let's have a look if we have some new if we have some new um, supporters then. <laughs> so. So. Oh, we're so close. At 150,000, at 50%, after one hour, wow. It's really, wow, 150,000 euros, congratulations. Congratulations, you've made 50%. Links are one. Congratulations, you have made 50% of your 300,000 euros goal within one hour. Amazing, amazing. That is absolutely cool. Congratulations, and again, in my opinion, this is truly, truly a project that is worth your support. So, so I backed the 570 euro pledge, right? That's including um, shipping and stuff to, to Germany. But let's say what else is there. So there's a limited edition. There is a limited edition. And I'm not sure if it's here, if they show it here. I think yes, right? So they have a limited transparent edition. 
here it is. So this is the limited edition. If you want to have something special, something that in my opinion, it will go down into the history books of XR, in my opinion. It's the transparent Links are one limited edition, right? So it is um, not this black material. It's going to be transparent material. And if you want something yeah, more exciting, then you can go for the transparent edition. Yeah. So it is Steam VR compatible, wirelessly compatible. It will have OpenXR support to enable Unreal Engine and Godot support. This is how it looks in the AR mode. This is the team. Looking forward to meet them in Paris. And yeah, so if you're wondering how can a small team, how can a small team like finance something like this? And now how can they actually manufacture something like this? Especially now in the time of... Um, chip shortage and all this kind of stuff. So they are working together with Qualcomm and through this Qualcomm, um, through the Qualcomm um, connections, actually they do have some uh, production lines at Compal. And Compal is a huge Taiwanese manufacturer. So lots of exciting things are being made at Compal in Taiwan and that this small team, with the help of Qualcomm, could actually secure those manufacturing lines is absolutely great. This is really fantastic. So, yeah. Here's the Link's official t-shirt. I believe even if, even if you don't want to pledge those, those $500, for the headset itself, probably it's too much, you know? Probably it's too expensive for you. You, you, you don't need it right now in your life. <laughs> yeah, probably. We, we, don't, we, we haven't even seen what it can do, right? I, can, I totally get it. Like, I, you know, I absolutely get it if somebody does not want to back something that people have, have not seen yet, right? I haven't seen it. I haven't looked through it. I will go to Paris for you to be your eyes. I will do that. So if you are not into backing this right now, but if you love the spirit, if you love the spirit of the team and of this Kickstarter, right, then why not go for the t-shirt? Why not go for the t-shirt? And you know what? I love it, actually. Actually, I'm also going to get the t-shirt. Can I do this live? Here, my realities, my data. I love it. I love that thing, and I'm totally going to wear it on the channel. So how can I also pledge for this? I also want to okay, manage my pledge. I'm not sure if, I, if there's any sensitive data. Oh, there was already, so let me. <laughs> uh, okay, can I change my pledge? I want to add. Anyways, I'm going to do that later. I'm going to um, also add. I'm also going to add the T-shirt later. So, yeah. So if you if you don't want to, if you don't want to back this right now, get the T-shirt at least. Hundred and fifty-three thousand euros. This is amazing. Yeah, congratulations, congratulations to the Links team. Okay, let me see if there's anything else I can show you here on the on the Kickstarter. So openings are they're going to support it. The team, I'm going to meet them, the manufacturing partners, the t-shirt. Yeah. Anyways, you can totally you can totally check that out on their on their Kickstarter campaign. The link is down in the description. And well, during this live stream, this short live stream, where I simply actually wanted to tell you that I'm personally excited about it. During this live stream, they've already made more than 50%, wow, more than 50% of their goal. Congratulations to the team. Again, in my opinion, this is absolutely an interesting project. This is something that you can support if you are yeah, excited about our industry, if you care about 
yeah, not only one company dominating the market, if you want to support like a young startup with a vision, I think the links is for you. Okay, so this was actually a very spontaneous live stream. I didn't I didn't think that I would make a live stream today. And, you know, I haven't done a live stream alone <laughs> for quite some time. So that's something special. And I absolutely simply wanted to do this because that is worth it. Links are one. Kickstarter is live right now. Support them. The link is down in the description. If you do not want to go for the headset itself, go for the shirt. The t-shirt is really cool, I think. And again, I'm going to go to Paris to be your eyes to check it out. And again, even though I support them, I think they are cool. I, I like this project. I'm going to go there as a person answering to you, the MRTV viewers. And I'm going to tell you the good and the bad. So that's something that you can look forward to here on the channel very, very soon. That's it for this live stream. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed to MOTV yet, then you should absolutely do that because this channel is all about VR and AR. I'm giving you the latest news. I'm giving you the latest hardware reviews. And uh, yeah, everything is absolutely independent. All right, that's it from me. I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.